Klein Hayes and Big Mike are taking over the podcast scene in Vancouver. Get down or lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Carson Lambos up the middle through center. Into the offense's own snapshot scores. Oh my, what a goal. Carson Lambos is second of the game. And Winnipeg leads 3-2. Carson, how's it going, buddy? Hey, how's it going? Good, yourself? Good, sorry I'm late. I just had to update this thing. and oh, It's okay, man. It's all good. All right. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for coming out. I know we uh, tried a couple times and it didn't work out, but uh, I got you on now, so that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. I had been a little bit busy recently with work and training and everything, so glad this week could work this out. Of course, and you getting uh, U18 selection camp uh, named yesterday. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a huge honor for me. I was really happy to be recognized like that. It's uh, cool to be, you know, obviously not the circumstances we'd like, but still, uh, you know, anything to be associated with Hockey Canada is really cool for me. Yeah, how was the feeling of putting on the jersey in the U17s? Yeah, that was awesome. It was pretty surreal, honestly. Like you, you, you always like just dream of playing for Canada. So to kind of take that step and realize. Uh, where I kind of was, it was uh, yeah, a little pretty unbelievable feeling, and it was uh, so much fun being able to play for my country. Describe the feeling of getting drafted second overall to the Kootenai Ice in the WHL draft. Yeah, that was awesome for me. Um, I was super happy to go there. Um, Cranbrook was a great town. Um, obviously, things moved over here, but uh, it was it was such a cool cool feeling. Like again, something you kind of dream of, and then you know to actually see it happen is. Uh, it's pretty pretty exceptional feeling. Worked out the best for you uh, going home. Yeah, uh, playing at home has been awesome. Uh, I I love I love being in Winnipeg. Uh, I have so many like friends and family here. Be able to watch me play, see them after games, and uh, I get to see my parents throughout the entire year, which just makes uh, the jump to junior hockey that much easier. So it was a uh, things definitely worked out. Awesome. Why do you wear number seven? And what's your nickname? Uh, I wore number seven mostly just because, I don't know, I just kind of always wore it, and I guess it kind of suited me. I kind of, I don't know, just always kind of stuck with it. And uh, my nickname usually just go by Lambo, Lambo, something like that. Pretty simple, nothing uh, nothing too exciting. I figured that. If I was a coach or a GM and I was uh, asking, what do you bring to the table? Yeah, I think I'd say I'm a defenseman that uh, – takes pride in his game both ends of the ice I think I uh I can be effective shutting down the other team's best players but I can also uh try to contribute on offense as well uh take pride in being able to play uh all situations if uh I'm needed like that um what do you need your game after uh Drew Doughty was one but I think uh moving up to Junior, I kind of realized I had to change my game just a little bit, more like a Shea Weber, kind of add the second layer of offense. But still, uh, he's a really effective player in the D zone, um, and he's uh, he has a uh, a way of adding a second layer of offense. Do you have a good choice for sure? Do you have a favorite song you listen to before the game? Uh, I kind of like to mix it up. I like kind of Nickelback usually gets me fired up, uh, burn it to the ground, something like that. It's all. Uh, I like that before games. Good Canadian band. Yeah. Uh, um, your first season this year, you got eight goals, 24 assists, and 32 points in uh, 57 games. It's a pretty big accomplishment for your first season in the league. How do you uh, how do you feel like you had in the season? Yeah, I was uh, really happy with the way my year went. Uh, being surrounded by good players and great coaches, uh, given the opportunity I had, I feel like I uh, had some success with it. I still think there's lots of room for improvement and to grow next year and the coming years but I am I'm certainly satisfied with the way things went this year but I uh I want to make sure I, I I grow on it who are the biggest influences in your life uh for me my parents obviously are two two huge influences on me just you know always putting me and my brother before uh before themselves making sure we can uh have every opportunity to succeed and then my brother as well me and him we uh 
we spent a lot of time together. We trained together, worked together, uh, obviously lived together. So we, uh, we keep each other really competitive and uh, each one of us always wants to do better than the other. That's awesome. Uh, what do you, how are you preparing yourself for the NHL draft? Uh, right now, just kind of training and, uh, you know, just trying to become the best hockey player I can at this point. Uh, you know, trying to enjoy the off season because once things picks up, it's, uh, it's more pressure and, uh, you know, more intense like that. But right now, just trying to, just trying to better myself as much as I can. Because once they open up all these sports again, it's going to be gung ho. And yeah. Yeah, I think everyone's going to be super excited to get things going, and it'll probably be some of the best hockey you'll see. And you know, guys are going to be really, uh, really fired up for it. What emotions do you feel when you play really well? Yeah, I, I think I'm a pretty level-headed player. Um, when I'm when I'm playing well, I just kind of keep trying to do what I do. I uh, don't really get too high because uh, you know things can change just like that. You get too high, too confident in what you're doing, you do some stuff that you shouldn't do on the ice. And the same same thing goes when you're not playing well. Just kind of say, just cash the last shift and look forward to the next one. And just uh, believe in yourself and trust what you can do. You love laying the body too. Uh, I remember watching you uh, scrap uh, Canuck Leifert in a pretty good scrap. And you were only 16 years old at that point too. Yeah, that was, uh, it was good for me. Um, you know, he was uh, really good about it after. And we were able to talk to each other in the box. He's a veteran guy who's uh, – who's obviously had some experience around the league. So to get to go toe to toe with him was a, uh, it was really a good experience for me. Uh, I just, you know, I like standing up for myself and, you know, if I uh, want to, want to keep myself safe and my teammates safe as well. What's your favorite movie about sports? Uh, first one that comes to mind is probably miracle. Uh, it's a pretty basic answer, but never really gets old. Uh, obviously, like the underdog story and some of the, like how they come together as a team, you know, being apart from each other and going against each other the whole time is a, it's a, it's such a cool story. Do you keep in touch with your teammates quite a bit? Yeah, we, uh, we keep in touch. Some of us will play, uh, you know, not as much anymore. Now it's kind of nice outside, but during the winter, we uh, spend a lot of time kind of playing video games together, uh, talking on the headset, keeping in touch and then, you know, just firing, a couple of texts back and forth throughout the week or whatever it may be. What game do you play with your friends? Uh, we were pretty big into Call of Duty this year. That was the, the big one for our team. Uh, yeah, I got, got pretty good, of it, good at it during quarantine, so it was lots of fun. You ever do those five-on-five five little NHL things? Where yeah. You play the whole team, too? Yeah, I'm not very good at that, but it's still fun <laughs> to play. You can uh, get, get a whole group together and kind of play like uh, – like a game it's uh yeah that's lots of fun yeah i definitely suck at that as well you must have learned a lot from uh peyton krabs on and off the ice yeah watching a guy like that he's obviously uh you know he's he's had a lot of success in junior and what looks like he's gonna have a lot of success moving forward so kind of just watch what he does you know he works hard every day he's obviously a really good player but that he doesn't take that for granted he still works hard and uh He's a like last guy on the ice type of thing, and he's always bettering himself. So just trying to follow that is a it's a great uh, lead to follow. Who would you say is your favorite teammate you ever played with? Uh, favorite teammate you ever, I ever played with? Uh, it's a tough one. I'm gonna go with my brother. We played together for a few games, and uh, when he was in midget, I got called up to his team. So I played actually partners with him. So that was really cool for me, being able to play beside my brother. Is Johnny playing anymore? Yeah, Johnny plays on Brandon right now. So we actually uh, we play against each other lots. Uh, but it, I think it was ten times this year with preseason games. So to go against him was uh, yeah, that's lots of fun. Some good battles, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. We, uh, yeah, we go back and forth. But you know, once you're kind of out there in the game in the zone, you don't even you, you honestly kind of forget about it. Do you play any fantasy football or fantasy hockey? Uh, not really. I know some guys on our team do. I uh, I used to play fantasy football, but always seem to be on a bus on a Sunday now or whatever it is. So I haven't really followed football as closely throughout the years. What's your uh, favorite type of music and what's your favorite song? I uh, kind of like recently into like electric music and, and stuff like that. So I don't know if I have one particular song, just like remixes and, and things like that. What do you think makes a good team captain? 
I think a good team captain is just somebody who, uh, you know, they lead by example, but they're, you know, they set their, their self ahead of, or not ahead of everybody, but they, uh, you know, they, they take pride in being the leader, but they're also still a part of the team and uh, they don't see themselves uh, above anybody else. Who's the, the pump-up guy on the ice? Like, who's the guy in the dressing room guy? The raw-raw guy? Uh, Reese Harsh, for us this year, was a like pretty vocal guy in the room. You know, he was able to like keep things loose, but get guys going as well. So having a, a veteran presence like him in the room was, was really good for our team. Is he the DJ too? Uh, he is DJ, yeah. So he uh, he's a music guy. Get some pregame music going in the room before games. Do you have a pregame meal? Yeah, I, I eat the same thing before every game. Uh, chicken and pasta with a little bit of salad. Gets pretty plain, but you know it's what gets me ready to play. So it's what's best for me. Any pregame rituals? Uh, nothing crazy. Just like to show up to the rink like two and a half hours before. Take my sticks, stretch out, warm up with the team. And, yeah, nothing nothing too crazy, just uh, the same routine about. So you kids going pro and stuff, do you guys take your sticks every game? Yeah, I like to. Um, just just me personally, I, I mean, everybody's different. When I see, like, a hole of tape in my stick, it kind of – I don't really like the way it looks or, you know, kind of a bit of a mental thing maybe. But if, if my, if my uh, tape, tape reps, I'll retape it in between periods and use a different stick until I have a chance to, to retape it. Yeah, I'm definitely the same way. I play beer league hockey, but even just even even just that, you get a little mark on your on your tape. You got to retape that thing for the next game. That way you yeah. can scoop the, that way you can scoop the puck if I ever get the puck behind the net. Yeah, it just doesn't sit right when there's a when there's a hole or rip in the. In That's the true. That's yeah. true. When uh, fans recognize you and uh, ask you for your autograph, do you feel like it's a nuisance, or uh, do you enjoy doing it? No, I, I I really enjoy doing it. The fans here in Winnipeg are awesome. So kind of. We do autographs before and after games, and being able to interact with uh, them uh, is, is so cool for me. You know, again, like I said before, it's like something you used to do, and then now that you're in that position that the, the, the little kids look up to, is uh, it's really cool for me. Yeah, I, I would believe it would be a surreal moment, too. The, um, growing up, who did you always wish was watching you play? Yeah, I was just super happy to have my parents watching me. Um, they always supported me and they always still do support me through everything I do. So just being able to play in front of them. And I know they both, uh, they both still make it out to as many games as they can. And they, uh, think they're super proud. So that makes me happy when they're there. Carson, I really want to, uh, thank you for coming on today, man. We really appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks for having me guys. We uh, wish you the best of luck in your hockey career. And we know it's, you're going to go far. So, uh, we, uh, we can't wait to we to see where you get to. Yeah, we're fans. We're going to be fans for the rest of our lives now. So, All right. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Right. Thank you. Have a good day. Good luck, right. Carson. Right. See ya.